What's up? So today we're gonna show you how to save money on your trip to Seoul. Excuse the noise in the background, the washing machine is pretty loud. We're visiting Seoul now for the second time. So after our first trip we noticed that we spent a lot of money. So this time we really wanted to find a way on how to save as much money as possible and don't spend too much on unnecessary things since i know that many of you guys want to come here to seoul and also ask me if i have any tips how to travel to seoul on a budget i made a list for you guys and we want to try all of the stuff today so that you can also come here with a pretty small budget but still have a very good time i can already give you my first tip right now always carry a bottle of water with you because buying bottled water here in Seoul is pretty expensive actually but on the other hand if you're at a restaurant or in a department store for example you always get free water and I think that's a really amazing thing here in Korea if you're staying at an Airbnb most of the time they have a special tap for drinkable water because the normal tap water here is not really drinkable and if you just take your refillable plastic bottle with you you're good to go so i'd say let's go outside for breakfast you have a huge variety of options it depends on what you prefer you can already eat warm meals of course because koreans like to eat soup for breakfast and all that stuff but me personally I prefer to have like just some European breakfast eggs and bread and cornflakes or whatever and if you're also used to this kind of breakfast you have a couple of options you can either go to a cafe chain like Starbucks or something and of course they have really nice breakfast but I'm gonna warn you these chains are really expensive so I wouldn't get my breakfast there. So the two options you have to save money are either buy stuff in the grocery store and eat it in your Airbnb. You can also go to the smaller cafes. You can get your coffee, tea, sandwiches and everything you need there for a much lower price than at the franchises. So definitely go for the smaller cafes. Okay, now we had our breakfast and the next stop will be the Pukchon village. It's a really nice, very traditional area here in Seoul and you can do some sightseeing for free, which is very important for us because we're on a budget today. And I heard you have also an amazing view from there, so I think we should definitely check it out now. you can get yourself a card like this you can always top it up with some money and then you can just drive around conveniently with this card in the subway and you can also use it to pay in a convenience store so that's really convenient we arrived at the Bukchan Hanok village now and it's really full today even though actually today is uh, still Chuseok which is a Korean holiday and I think right over there we're gonna get to the to one of the filming locations of the Korean drama Tokebi There are so many tourists here right now and everyone is so quiet. The residents put up signs that tourists should be quiet. And the view is really amazing from up here, look at this. Ok, 
Okay guys, we're leaving the Pukchon Hanok village now. You should definitely come here, it's really worth a visit. And now we're searching for something to eat, but we won't eat here because it's a tourist uh, area and in tourist areas the prices are always so high. We wanted to show you some budget alternatives today, so let's go and find some. tip I have for you if you are a coffee drinker or tea lover or something like that I definitely recommend you the venti you can find it in many areas and the great thing about it is you can get like a liter of coffee or tea or whatever you want for like a dollar or something I'd say let's get a coffee right now because this guy right here needs his coffee an iced breakfast tea it's really good because it's not so sweet if you want to do sports on your trip you can actually go to a free gym at the park This one's actually quite nice. Yeah? Yeah, because you press your own body weight. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can just... <laughs> at the area of Xincheon now and since it's a student area we might find some inexpensive food here so let's have a look Chicken is not super cheap here but for example when you share this huge plate with like four persons it's 24,000 that means 6,000 each home and I hope you guys liked the video if you did leave a like as always and don't forget to subscribe for more videos I see you in the next one bye